I'm not convinced that Trump is the greater evil than Clinton. Sanders can still win, but the odds are against him. If it's Trump versus Clinton, well, let's look at some issues here. First is foreign policy. I think Trump is an isolationist, although it's hard to be sure. Whereas it's clear that Clinton is an interventionist. Um, the old liberal interventionist, which is the same thing basically as a neocon. Um, you know, it's the reason that Obama's foreign policy looks so similar to Bush's, because it's basically the same. And so Clinton will likely, or actually, Clinton will certainly carry on Bush's foreign policy as Obama has. Okay, so she will launch more wars in the name of the glory of the American empire. Trump is actually really less clear, and I think there's an argument he might pull back a little, or at least he might try to. Okay, ultimately these are hard fights to win. The truth is that civilian military control in the United States isn't really actually a thing. Okay, it's not at all clear that he can convince the generals if he'd even want to, but Trump at least provides some hope of a reversal of imperialism. Clinton represents the absolute status quo. Now, Sanders beats them both on foreign policy, but Trump beats Clinton. Okay, so Sanders is the best on foreign policy. Trump is bad, but not as bad as Clinton is, okay? And we've got trade. Well, they're both claiming various levels of opposition to the expansion of free trade. Clinton has no credibility. Remember, her husband campaigned against NAFTA. She it seems like she's just doing exactly the same thing, and because she has a history of just telling people what they want to hear, um, it, it, she, she has no credibility on this file. Trump might very well put up some tariffs, though. Again, Sanders beats them both. But Trump provides more hope for some break in the status quo than Clinton does. So again, Sanders, Sanders is the best on trade and, you know, the quote-unquote economy. You know, and Trump is bad, but he's not as bad as Clinton. Healthcare. This is actually an important issue in Canada. Sanders is the best on healthcare by a while, by 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 a good margin. But see, while Clinton supports the status quo, it's not really clear where Trump stands. Repealing Obamacare is a populist issue in the United States, so he's taken that position. But Trump spent years supporting single payer, so there's some hope that Trump might bring in single payer. On the other hand, Clinton didn't take all that money to attack the insurance lobby with, did she? She's going to do what the insurance companies want. So, again, Sanders is by far the best. He wants single payer. And while Trump's position is unclear and maybe not so great, it's still better than Clinton's. Then there's that wall. It's it's going to lead to all kinds of inflation. The price of you know food is going to go way up. But the thing is, I don't think he can really actually do it. I don't. I, I, I you know, the, the more people push back on him, the more he says it, I, I, I don't think it's going to happen. The thing is that Clinton has her own albatrosses as well. I've been vocal about Libya, and they kind of balance out. Um, another issue is xenophobia. See, I think that comes down to the question of how big you think the difference is. Yeah, Trump's pushing xenophobia, and it's terrible and everything else, but... Are the Democrats really better? I mean, they're less obnoxious about it, maybe, but if you look at Obama's record on mass deportations, I don't really see a reason to support the Democrats on the issue of xenophobia. Um, I see a lot of reason to criticize both of them, but I don't really see a difference. I'm sorry. And even Sanders is not that good on this one. Okay. So, I, I am a staunch leftist. I think I've been clear, but that's kind of the point. Trump doesn't really seem to be... He, Trump seems to be really running a good deal to the left of Hillary, who is running essentially as a Republican. Is, is Hillary that seems like she wants to uphold the legacy of Reagan, and Trump that seems like he wants to blow it up. Now, I'm not endorsing Trump. I couldn't imagine voting for him. It's just not clear who the lesser evil is. I'm still rooting for Bernie, and hope he can pull it off, but the writing is on the wall. So, notwithstanding some comeback by Bernie, I'm going to officially endorse non-voting. Now, non-voting sends the message that neither option is acceptable. Trump might win, but it's not clear he's worse, and he might even be better. But if we can collectively pull voting below 30%, it sends a strong message of discontent. That is the most activist choice in this cycle, as far as I can tell at this point. Okay, It's a standard anarchist position of non-voting. Um, I tend to take a step back from it. I think that voting can have some value. 
um, if you can clearly determine that one of the bad choices is better than the other one. Right, so who is the least bad choice? And, and it can make a difference. Um, but in this particular election, I don't see that logic upholding. I don't think there's really much of any basis to suggest that Hillary is better or that Trump is worse. And, I mean, it, you have to be in a bad situation for that to be true, okay? For, to, to really honestly believe that there is not any difference or even to suggest that the um, person that you ought to be ideologically opposed to might even have some better ideas. Um, that, 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 I've pointed out before that I think the 2012 election was like that. Um, it was really hard to tell. Um, but at the same time, you know, you, you could come up with some argument why maybe Obama might be better, right? I don't even see what your argument is on Hillary being better. Like, like, I... I can't disarm it because I, I don't even see what it is. Um, you know, all the things that you would normally, you know, like like you might argue that, you know, Hillary might be better on women's rights. I don't, I don't think Trump is, like, you know, like Trump had to really fight and claw and scream to yell that, you know, like that he was pro-life. He's not. He's pro-choice. Everybody can see that. Everybody knows that. Um, and I really don't think he's much of a threat. Um, on the other hand side, I don't really think that Hillary is particularly progressive on many of these issues. Um, you can say the same thing about, you know, gay rights. Um, Clinton really took a long time to come around on that. Um, and I don't really think that, you know, Trump is particularly scary. In fact, I think that uh, he might have some skeletons in his closet, if you see what I'm saying. Um, so, I mean, it's... Like, on issue after issue, they're either you know, comparable, um, in the sense that they're comparably bad, or in a, in a lot of senses, Trump comes up a little bit to her left. Um, and it's hard to come up with this argument that you should vote for the Democrats because they're the, it, it just, it does not hold here. Again, it, it pretty much always held before. This is an example where it doesn't, and it's not a reflection of Trump so much. I mean, it, it is a reflection of Trump, but more so than it being a reflection of Trump, it's a reflection of how bad Hillary is. Okay? She's so bad that she can't even really win an argument with a leftist, with, a, with an extreme leftist. I can't even see um, why she might be better than Trump. Um, and so if you're going to reduce it purely to identity politics, um, you know, or, you know, partisan politics. I mean, that, that, that that's what you're left with, right? You know, I, it's boy, ver, boy versus girl or red versus blue, you know, and, and when, you, when you break it down to that kind of a level, you really have to reject it. I'm sorry. Um, I, I normally would take a step back from this anarchist position because I think it's melodramatic, that it's not really true. I mean, they might be almost the same, but there's those, those little differences. I can't even see the little differences anymore. Um, if, if you can point this out to me, um, great. But all of the little differences that I can see seem to actually favor Trump. So I'm officially, in, like, like I say, Bernie still could come back. I don't see it really happening at this point. Um, it's the Michigan numbers. He, he, had, he has to do better in a state like Michigan. Um, because if he doesn't do better, than, not in a state like Michigan, he's not going to do better in Florida or Pennsylvania or Ohio or, you know, and it's just, you're just letting the clock tick, right? Um, it's Michigan is the one where he's got to turn it around. If he does, you know, I'll change my tune. It, it doesn't look likely. So, I mean, like, he, 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 he's not in as bad a shape. It's not over, but it might be over when Michigan votes. I think it's on the 7th. Um, that's the day that it might be clear that it's done. Um, it's not, he, he has to just about split, and he doesn't just have to just about split, he has to do better with black voters. So we'll, we'll see how that turns out. But I mean, and if he does, great, you know, but 
If he doesn't, as it looks like he won't, um, I am officially in endorsing the position of non-voting, as you would have expected me to as an anarchist. Um, and um, as, in fact, I have not in the past um, as, as frequently as you might expect. I did, in, I did actually endorse a non-voting option in 2012. Um, I actually supported Hillary over Obama in 2008 um, because she ran to his left in 2008. Um, I was able to see pretty clearly that Barack Obama was the bank's candidate in 2008. Um, but in the end, um, I mostly um, actually um, endorsed non-voting in the general. Um, yeah. Believe it or not, in 2008, the Obama versus McCain, I endorsed non-voting. <laughs> Sorry, the whole, uh, you know, first black, I, 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 don't, I don't get excited by these kinds of things. Um, first woman, first black, first Jew, you know, first person with red, have we had a redhead yet? You know, like, it's just like, this is meaningless nonsense. Um, it does not excite me at all. Um, again, maybe it's because I'm a Canadian and I'm a little bit um, aloof from, from this whole thing, but... Um, uh, I, I I endorsed Kerry. Um, I think it was it was Kerry that was the last um, Democratic president that I thought might be better, um, specifically on a foreign policy front. Um, Obama didn't strike me as better um, on, on really any level. Um, I just couldn't I, I couldn't come up with a reason to vote for him. Um, and I think history has shown me correct. Um, if, if Obama had his way, we'd be... Well, it seems like the difference is that um, Obama has maybe tweaked the neocon strategy back to what it was in the 80s. So we're back to, you know, fighting secret wars and... You know, funding funding groups uh, covertly and all those kinds of things instead of you know, you know, instead of walking through the front door, you know, you know we're we're here and you know we're gonna steal your oil, you know, and fuck you, Saddam, and the whole thing, you know, like they did under Bush. And now then we're back to the whole you know like Iran Contra, um, you, you know, Mujahideen in Afghanistan kind of sneaky thing, right? Um, the funding of ISIS is very similar to the funding of, of the Afghan rebels. It's it, it's it's the Reagan model, and, and Clinton's just going to carry it right on. Um, so I mean, it's it, there really is almost no basis at all, um, considering that, like I say, um, Trump seems a little bit more appealing um, on a couple of issues. So don't vote. And uh, if Trump wins um, and he makes a good of it, um, I, I, well. If Trump wins and actually pushes through a couple of these things, um, I think we'll all be better off for it, um, even even if you have to take the good with the bad sort of thing, right? So that's my uh, that's my position here. I don't expect it to change, but I'll let you know if it does. Um, I am officially endorsing non-voting as the correct activist um, approach to a Clinton-Trump election.